the Bionic Handling Assistant by Festo. The handling assistant is ideally suited to doing the work of a real assistant or just acting as a third arm. The first thing to say is that the handling assistant is built using no steel or iron whatsoever. That means I would feel entirely safe and comfortable even in a whole forest of them. It's constructed using plastic structures a bit like balloons, which are positioned one behind the other and blown up with air, allowing the individual section to move. Several of these sections are then combined to make an arm that is as supple and flexible as an elephant's trunk. A gripping element is added so that the handling assistant can hold things, a suitably intelligent controller is fitted, and that's it. All done. We did not invent the Bionic Handling Assistant on our own. It is the result of interdisciplinary teamwork. We work together as seamlessly as a football team. To make the assistant move correctly, like a real elephant's trunk, we also needed to identify the right kind of drives for it. They needed to be light, very mobile, closely inspired by nature, but also very powerful. There would be no assistant without the Bionic Learning Network. The Bionic Learning Network is a network of well-known universities and colleges, institutes, and development companies. It is an integral part of innovation processes at Festo. Once we have put together the team, we then try and learn from nature. We look for inspiration in nature. We've observed jellyfish, for example. Or for the handling assistant, we looked at the elephant's trunk and all the things it can do. Then we use what we have learned to create a mechanical structure. And once we've got this mechanical structure, we incorporate that into the technology. The Bionic Learning Network has come up with several new products. For example, the Adaptive Gripper. That's now a Festo product. To make the assistant move totally naturally, we needed a new kind of drive. We developed the basics here at the Fraunhofer Institute and then implemented them together with Festo. In this instance, we used a new process called laser sintering. In laser sintering, a powerful laser fuses powdered material a layer at a time to produce the desired shape. Another future-oriented feature of the assistant is the fact that it is not a prototype as such. It is regulated and controlled with the help of special piezo valves, small high-performance valves that are already used in cars for improving seating comfort. And the CMXR robotic controller is in use today in many automated handling solutions. How could the Bionic Handling Assistant make work easier in the future? We asked three potential users. Ina Uhlenberg, a nurse from Zindelfingen. I'm a nurse working in trauma surgery in Zindelfingen. There's always lots to do in my line of work, so a third arm would pretty much always come in handy for changing bandages, maybe passing people things, so I can keep talking to the patient, seeing what they need. Michelle Janotta, an assembly worker from Esslingen. I work on an assembly line for valve terminals for large machines. Assembly work is very complex. And the assistant could be very helpful for simple tasks, leaving me to concentrate on the actual assembly work. A third arm would sometimes come in very useful there, passing you the parts you need, for example. Unfortunately, normally, we've only got two arms. Heiko Fischer, a motor mechanic from Esslingen. I can really imagine that it could help me in my daily work. When I'm retrofitting something electronic, electrical in the footwell or the interior, when I need to connect some wires and I'm missing some tool I need, a gauge or something, it could pass it to me. 
There's always a danger that the upholstery or leather trim or door coverings could get damaged, but I don't imagine anything like that could happen with this device. The Bionic Handling Assistant. He will make work easier. He will inspire new ideas and change handling and production processes forever. He will become the norm.